Hello and welcome to the 87th tutorial in the Bootstrap Free Series. In this part we're going to be looking at tooltips. We'll be using the source code from the 6th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Tooltips are a great way of providing some hints to the user which are hidden by default. They appear when hovering the mouse over the tooltip element. They're really easy to implement. So let's open up our HTML file in a text editor and just show you how easy they are. So if we scroll, I'm going to put them just before the row and before the column, but as an extra task, put them inside to see what happens when you resize, see how they react. So what I'm going to do is a button type, it's going to be button, it's going to have a class. This is all stuff that we've covered before regarding buttons, so I'm not really going to go over this in any depth. Data dash toggle equals tooltip data dash placement equals left and title equals tooltip on left. This is the title is the tooltip itself is basically what's gonna appear when you hover over the element. And now, what we're going to do, we put a button tag, and inside here will be the text that appears in the button. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to say, left to tip. And what we're going to do, copy and paste this so we have four instances of it. The, the first one I'm going to leave as it is, the second one. I'm going to change this so its data placement is to the right and it says tooltip on right. I'm going to put right tooltip for the next one. What we're going to put is bottom. Bottom tooltip. For the placement we're going to put that to bottom and for this we're going to put tooltip on bottom and for the final one we're going to change this to top we're going to change the data placement to top and change the text to tooltip on top now if we save it run this in our web browser we have four buttons and when we hover over them nothing happens you may be wondering why isn't anything happening and there's a reason why whoosh Let's go back to our text editor and show you what's happened or what we've done. So what we've done is we've got a button or we've a type of button, we've got a class BTN, oh, sorry, my bad, this needs to be BTN, not BNT. I was wondering what the starting looked a little weird. Now let's just refresh our page. That looks a lot better. But either way, it's still not working. And you may be wondering why didn't it work in. This is great. This is what it should be, but we need to initialize it. and we to do that we need to do jQuery it's not very difficult it's actually very easy so if you just scroll to the bottom and anywhere after you've included the jQuery file I'm just going to put it right at the bottom I'm going to put a script tag and inside I'm going to do dollar function and curly braces Close this off, and inside here, all we're going to do is dollar. We're going to put data dash toggle equals tooltip. And now, what we're going to do is outside here dot tooltip. This is actually all you need to do to initialize it. So anything that has a data toggle of tooltip, it initializes. So if we go back, we put a data dash toggle as tooltip. You could put it as Mr. Blobby or Cookie or whatever you want, but just make sure you reference it correctly when you initialize it. This is how you initialize it. So now if we just run this in our web browser, refresh, then when we hover over it, it says tooltip on the left. It's a little cut off. It says tooltip on the right. Tooltip on bottom and well, tooltip on top. It's that simple. The next tutorial will cover popovers. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk 
All the request source code will be in the description. To see over 3,000 completely free videos just like this one, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. Get there today and sign up for free, which allows you to take private notes against any one of those 3,000 plus videos. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.